Hey family, hope you're doing well. Um, just want to take a few minutes. I'm getting ready. Going to be flying into Nashville today. Got my Nashville hat sporting on. There you go. And uh, heading in there, going to be doing a um, behavioral training and then also a, a workshop with um, some folks there. And um, one of the one of the things I've been thinking about lately is as I've, I've spoken to clients, um, I do probably 12 to 18 different coaching calls with clients a week. Um, in addition to some of the other stuff I do. And one of the things I've been seeing when talking to people who are struggling with areas of life is this victim mentality. Life is doing this to me or complaining about circumstances. And even when uh, answers are offered to them about how to do things better or how to change that, they find themselves not accepting the answer, not accepting uh, what the answer to the problem is, but rather just more complaining about the problem. It's complain about the problem. And here's one thing I know. Complaining is okay, but it gets you nowhere. Nowhere. At some point, you have to stop uh, looking for life's meaning to you and become a person who seeks out answers to the problems and the situations you're facing in your life. We sit around and listen to people complain. There was a guy by the name of Viktor Frankl, and Viktor was part of, in World War II, was in a concentration camp. He was an Austrian uh, psychiatrist, and one of the things that uh, happened to him is he was placed in this concentration camp, and as he began to study people, by the way, he had a really weird job, my understanding is that he had to keep people from committing suicide before they were killed. How crazy is that? That was his job. But nevertheless, he wrote a, a book called The Meaning of Life or In Search of the Meaning of Life. And one of the things he contended there as he watched people in the concentration camp is he said there was a direct correlation, a direct connection with the way people thought about their future with longevity, even in a concentration camp. I don't know who you are today, but I guarantee you, you're not in a situation that's worse than this concentration camp where you're being starved and tortured and being set up to die just for uh, who you are, or your religion. Nevertheless, he talked about this mindset. And as I've coached and worked with people, and even in my own life, one of the things that I have noticed is that as we just look at today and its problems without an optimistic outlook on what tomorrow can be, it will jack us up. We become inward focused. Everything we look at bothers us. Everything frustrates us. And so my encouragement to you today is stop looking at this day and its problems and start looking for finding solutions to the problems you have. It's easy to point out what I'm struggling against. It's easy to identify that. Be the solution you need. Be the answer that you need today. You don't have to be a victim. Life's not doing anything to you that it's not doing to everybody else. Everybody struggles. And, and it's just when we start looking at ourselves in our day that we start thinking we're the worst. Guess what? You're not the worst. If, if I needed to, I could put pictures of here of children and people who are suffering today. I'm not downplaying your issues. What I am saying is you can stay where you are, concentrate on the difficulty and cry and complain, which will eventually segregate you, will eventually isolate you because nobody wants to be around that kind of person all the time. Or you can become a solution today. You can find the answer. You can take good advice. You can determine that I'm going to look at my future and it's going to be better than today. I'm going to do something different. Stop focusing on your lack. Stop being scarce. Be abundant. You can do it, but it happens right here. How you think. You can change how you think by what you put inside of you. Become a person who sees the potential in your future because the potential in you is not limited. I hope you have a great day. See you from Nashville.